welcome everybody to the tonight's class, uh, viewer's choice, and that means you submit your games. And to first, we'll go over the games that are submitted by the play, you know, the players who are here. And we'll see. We'll do basically we'll do a game analysis. We will go over your games, and I will point out your mistakes. And by the way, this is the most important thing to get better in chess. So you want to make sure you uh, you want to make sure you know your mistake because if same mistake happens. You don't want that, you, know, you don't want the same mistake happen again. You want to make sure you find a mistake and fix it, okay? So that's the idea to remember, okay? So let's, let's make sure we start. This first game was submitted by a student, the president, then, then, then here, he was a, a member at the club. So then, you're, tell us a little bit about this game. Where are you playing? So just a chess.com game. Right, it was an online game at chess.com, 10 minutes each. So 10 minutes each side, yeah. This is, a time, this is a time control that I recommend to my students to play, game 10 or game 15 at least, because that way you have enough time to think and find out good ideas, okay? So game 10 or game 15, got it? So E4, French. So then plays the French defense, and his opponent plays e5. Can you please name uh, this this line? What is this line called? Uh, yes. Advanced variation. Advanced variation of the French defense. Perfect. Yeah. C5. C3. Because black has to, white has to play the move c3 to protect the center. Otherwise, you will just take it and then destroy the center. And he may as well lose the e5 pawn. Knight c6, bishop b5. Immediately, your opponent didn't play the best move. The best move here is considered knight f3, qu queen b6. And now you have few options here. Okay. Now you have few options. White has few options. a3 is one of the top moves. You can play bishop e2, and also you can play bishop d3. These are the, all the main lines here, all the decent lines. Okay? Bishop d3 is a gambit, right? B bishop d3 or is a gambit, yeah. yes. This is called milner berry gambit. So you take, <coughs> you take, he take, bishop d7, and then you want to take the pawn on d4. So he doesn't have a <coughs> good way to protect this. If he goes here, then you can jump in with knight here to put pressure. <coughs> okay? So, take, take, but your opponent played bishop b5. Bishop d7. And now, then, I have a question for you. No. I just, why not play a little bit more aggressively? In fact, here, just question six, so question for everyone here. What is the best move in this position, you think? What is the move that you could try to do here? Probably queen b6. Absolutely you go queen b6. Absolutely you play queen b6. Okay? Now you're attacking the bishop and there is a pressure on d4. Okay? And if he takes, you take back with this and bishop on a6. Got it? But you play bishop d7. And now... Now, bishop d7 is played, and now, question, what is then threatening to do? Everybody see the threat? Then do you know your threat? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's give a chance to the others here. Jason. Knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. So let's say if white plays a de normal developing move, here you have a typical tactic here, because this bishop is loose piece. So you go knight takes e5 tactic. If he takes back, you go back knight d7, and you're up a pawn. If he goes back here with this, now you just take back the bishop b5 and you win a pawn here. So you probably had this in mind oh when yes. you played this yeah, move, yeah? So. Very tricky player, excellent, yeah. It wasn't the best move though, you're right. It, your second best move you played. You should go queen b6, you know that. You yeah. should play queen b6 here because after queen b6 capture, capture, let's say he tries to finish his development. Now look at that move, you say, nope. Right. You're so not castling now. Nah. You're stopping from castling, okay? And now you get an excellent position like this, okay? okay. Next time to this. Play the best move in the position, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't go for a tricks. Go for the best move that you have available. Perfect. 
Now, bishop d7 was played. Bishop takes c6, he took. And now you made the interesting decision of taking back with the pawn. Explain to us why no. you play this move. My feeling was I wanted to give, make as much, give as much pressure as I can to the base of the pawn chain. Which is d4, yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. So if I capture and then can advance c5. And take once. Right. So, okay, excellent explanation. So he wants to take on d4 once and then play c5 again to basically break the center. But your opponent played knight f3, which didn't prevent that. I think this move is very interesting, bishop e3, to try to at least oppose that a little bit, you know? To make it a little bit harder for you to do that, okay? You play it here, rook b8. Then why don't you stay with the pawn? Stay with the pawn. Yeah. Undouble those double pawns and attack that center, no? Yeah. no. This is the right way to play. Yeah. Black is slightly better already. See, if this side French is a good opening, I recommend this to people who don't know what to do against e4 to learn it because uh, you get a very solid position. And a lot of times your opponents are not very familiar with it because it's not like first openings they study is e45, Sicilians. A lot of times people don't pay too much attention. They, uh, they don't regard French as anything, you know, particularly that awesome maybe, you know. But it's, you know, it's played, played at a very high level. Played at a very high level with the good results. Mm -hmm. So that's a good opening to study if you don't have anything against e4. Yeah. Okay, then this is natural, okay? You yes, should yes, do this. Yes. You should do this because you played the move rook b8, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure about this because it's like a move we don't know. You're making right. a move, maybe yeah. it will be good, maybe it's right. not. So I don't well, know. Inhibit the bishop move, but Yeah. Castle. Take. So now he should take back with the pawn, of course, right? I mean, this taking back with the knight was a pretty poor choice because he basically allowed you to play c5 with the tempo. So taking back with the pawn was correct. Knight e7. B3, knight G6, G3, another poor decision, right? You have a light square bishop and opponent is weakening the light squares. So this is looking good for you, bishop C6, okay? Just the diagonal that he's already yeah. C4, uh, I, don't know, I don't know about this move, mm -hmm. why? You want him to play C4 so he can play D4. That's right, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I'd fix what's wrong with just developing? Nothing. Develop, yeah. castle, queen here. I mean, this is nice. Okay? Yeah, okay. yeah you, you're very, very comfortable. You should just, just, just put the bishop on e7. That's it. Yeah, or h5. Bishop e7, h5, sure. Very nice. <coughs> you know, that's a good idea too. I like this idea, h5, because it will very aggressive. Try to attack, okay? You have a very nice position. So c4, this, um, I don't like it because you weaken your d4 square and you're giving his knight an outpost. Mm -hmm. And you can post in it there, okay? So you don't want to do that. He did. No. Now, if then takes the pawn, right? What's the problem here? F4. F4, F4 actually knight d3, so maybe there's something a little bit better than that. Oh, this is still knight takes c6. Check. Knight d4. Yeah, knight takes. No. But there is something a little bit better, I think. So let me show you what. So here, you just play a simple move, rook e1. Mm -hmm. And now, no matter what, you just take the knight. Whatever piece protects it, bishop, pawn, queen, you take, and you take back on c6. Yeah, 93, but there's no check, yeah? So maybe take, queen v6. Wow, this is getting sharp here. F2 is hanging. <laughs> maybe your position is still good. It's your position is good enough that tactically you hold up, you know? You may. Rook e2, queen c6, so black is just doing great there too. 
Maybe it works. Maybe you could have taken the pawn, actually. <laughs> Strangely enough, yeah? Strangely enough, it seems like it shouldn't. But because if you take on B here, I think this is just great. Check, take, and mate, mate. Mate everywhere, OK? So play bishop d7. Uh, did you consider knight e5 or? I did, but I you, you I did briefly. It's I a ten. It. It's a ten-minute yeah, game. It's a ten-minute game, game also, so you cannot calculate. Right, right. You cannot spend all your time calculating this. So bishop be here. F4. Bishop c5. B4. Bishop b6. Okay. Castle. F6. Bravo, then. Bravo. That is an excellent move. Breaking the center. Opening up the position to try to attack that vulnerable king. Very nice move. How did this idea occur to you? Or you were planning this for a while? Yeah. So you want to break it open. Weaken it and break it open. Takes. Queen takes. Knight F3. Another wonderful idea. Bishop C6. Getting the bishop up there. Now he goes back. You take. <laughs> now you have a protected pass pawn on c4. His light squares are terribly weak, and now you have this idea that you can do at some point, okay? I don't know if you did that. Knight f5. Queen h6. Setting up a little knight g3 tactic. Knight h4. Yeah, position is. I have a question for you then. Did yeah. you, when you took this, did you look at this move? Hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's pretty awful, huh? <laughs> How are you going to save your rook? I know. It's a strange tactic, yeah? Awful tactic. It looks strange, but yeah. I think it I think it works. Unbelievable. I think he just pushes this and wins material. That's true. That's bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sloppy. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that tells us you had to be a little bit more cautious, you know, and take with the queen. And if he takes, you just take on d2 and you take the bishop. So that's just not. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful because this could have been very costly, oh, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. A rock is a rock. Yeah. E5, opening it up. Takes. Knight g6. Knight f3. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Well, you 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 want you wanted you wanted to push this pawn. That's right. And then he somehow just well, position is lost anyway. So it doesn't matter here. The result of this game is clear that you would have won, but this this is just, you know, made the process a little bit quicker, you know? Yeah. Just just a little quicker. Check. Take. Wow. Excellent. Well, what can we say about uh, the game overall? It was a great game. You played well. The few moments you could have been a little bit sharper. So Can let me point out. So let's let me point out for your observation. Mm -hmm. So first thing was bishop d7. Nice. Second best move. Right. Okay? You went for the trap, it worked for you. Did you play with the intention of a trap, or you thought that was just really your best move in the position? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure which was better. And but I, you knew queen b6. Part of it also is, I would say to myself, if he plays bishop b5, uh, it's likely. I do this. I shouldn't say therefore. It's likely he will fall for it, huh? Yeah, you should all. Yeah, but you should always play the best move. Because, yeah. Yeah. And I. Yeah. Yeah, he will likely he will likely to fall for it. Yeah. Right. right. But that's not a good way to. Yeah. 
Absolutely. If it doesn't, then my game's not as good. Yeah, but okay. Uh, the second observation was here, rook b8. Yes. It's a, such a, it's a move that it's, it may work out well for you, but it's, it's unclear the usefulness of this move at the moment. Yeah. Instead, what you had to do then? Capture and then c5. Capture. And he should capture with the pawn, not with the knight. And c5, and break that center, okay? That capture, capture, c5. Okay. All right, perfect. And the last was, last idea I have, yeah, that C4, was yeah, just develop, you know, uh, it's a positional, positional inaccuracy, you know, positional inaccuracy, you know, yeah. so you did, so, thanks. So, positional inaccuracy and uh, why everybody understand why C4 is positional inaccuracy? It creates a weak square on D4. And he could have played a move before here and take advantage of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that was the idea. We have to try to make sure you don't do that, okay? Plus, you want to open the bishop. You want to open yes, the, yes. you want to push the d pawn, not the e pawn here then. Mm -hmm. So let's say he goes here. Who can show me a strong <coughs> way, strong way here? Let's say then goes here, his opponent goes here. Who can show me a strong way to play against this knight on f3? A strong continuation. Yes, that's a good thinking right there. I mean, queen here, but it, uh, one, two, and he might be able to do something, right? Yeah, how about something a little bit more direct? I like that h4, h5, that's good. Mm -hmm. But let's keep that for a little bit later. Something more direct here. Who can show me a direct idea here? Can you see something direct that you can go for here? Absolutely d4, of course d4, yes. Now he captures, that's it. Now, how is he going to defend this? By being pinned forever. By yeah, well, two. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wants to do that. <laughs> I don't think you really want to do this. This Not is. Uh, or in other choice. Yeah. Or otherwise, you lose a piece. Yeah, but if you do that. Life is very tough. Yeah, it's a very tough life after this. Yes. Knight takes c5 is coming. Yeah. It's, it's very bad. Okay? So that is your another idea. And the last moment then. You oh, just yeah, you just pu you just push the wrong pawn. So here, yeah. you had to calculate perhaps maybe in a longer game, yeah, that yeah, yeah. this actually maybe works. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Knight here. And take, and right. you come back. Okay. Yeah. So overall, good performance, and we see French defense again proving to be up there, right? Yes. Good. All right. Next game we have. This is the game, Jason. Playing with the white pieces against Humberto Anorbes, 1500. And you won. Congratulations. That's a couple hundred point upset, right? 400 point upset. He's 1100 only. Very nice. Jason, you're playing with white. Yes. Bishop f4, is this what you normally play? Is this your typical opening? Okay. Yep. E6. Carlson does, <laughs> does it. <laughs> yeah. Now, bishop e7, e3. Castle. Knight bd2, d5. Okay. You were happy to see this move because you're going to plant the knight here, right? C5, C3, H6. Wow. That weakens his position. That's a bit strange move, right? Because he does weaken the, we weaken the position here. H6. What about uh, instead of H6, what about knight? Uh, let's see. So if he done knight H5, it's, it's uh, not the move that, you know, you want to play because you're not developed. So obviously this is not going to be great for you. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, yeah. It's hard to get E5. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you have uh, several moves here. But, you know, bishop E5, I know you guys were saying about F6 here. I mean, maybe knight C6 first, you know, because F6... There's a little oh, trick now. He takes, uh, and, then, and, then G4, yeah. and after this, he traps your knight. Yeah. So that's, that would be a little problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a tactical way of to refuting this. Okay. 
take, take, and g4, and the knight is trapped. Okay? So, but I think knight c6 is a move. This is kind of double-edged. I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy for you to, because sometimes this bishop stays there for a long time. But you may as well just go here. This is fine. And then you're looking to play a knight e5 ideas. Like, let's say he goes here. There is some interesting ideas. Sometimes you can go here. Now the knight is hanging, right? So if he gets creative and take, if he, if he takes this, now look at this, check. Check. <laughs> and you go here. And you get made it very quickly. So, but you know, this kind of stuff, it's, it happens all the time. So, I mean, you, you know, at the, you know, 15, 1600 level, I mean, people will miss it, this kind of stuff. It happens. So, of course, he has to play g6 now. And, you know, the game, the game goes on here, okay? Back to the game. Um, he played e4. Oh, I don't know about this one. Why, why do you play e4 here? Because you have to castle first. First thing you castle, right? Then you look at this 95 ideas. I don't like the movie four at all. You opening out the position while your king is in the middle of the board. That's gonna be some problems there, right? So you don't wanna do that. Okay, so. The A4, he's just gonna take. Castle, Jason. Castles. Knight c6, put the knight on e5, bishop g3, f4, strengthen the position, okay? That's what you want to do, okay? To be able to get a comfortable position. Got it? Jason choose to play e4 here. <clears throat> DE, e knight e4 cd cd knight d5 yeah i think i could just play knight c6 here and you know now the pawn is under attack excuse me Take, queen takes, bishop f6, yeah, what's your rating, what is your rating, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, knight c3, yeah, I think he should have done this, I don't think uh, uh, he should uh, worry about knight d5. Knight c6 and d4 pawn is hanging. Okay. Knight d5. Bishop d2, rooks, knight c6. a3, b6. Castles. Bishop f6. It's a bit strange, yeah? Should play bishop b7, rook c8. It's about, you know, equal, maybe even... Yeah, it's about equal, I guess. You know, this pawn on h6, it gives you some ideas at some point. You know, maybe some sacrifices or something. Let's see here. Could you have... No, this, this is probably not going to work. I was thinking to play something like queen c1. Attacking knight and the h And then, yeah, but I, I don't feel it's going to work. Don't think this is going to work. Knight d6, though. We have a threat knight d6 here, guys. So, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it works. Queen c1. You know, that h6 pawn is always a problem because you have a bishop there, you always have this uh, sacrifice. Although, although there is this line here. We need, let's check this. This is bishop here. Bishop here, yeah, I have a feeling that th this is not the right way to play. Maybe he plays this move. And now he's threatening to take on d4. And queen d2 we play, I don't... Bishop c2? 
tying up everything. I know, I know. Bishop c2, actually, knight b4, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, this is too complicated. But I if you were castled, you should seriously consider this, okay? So you castle, he plays bishop b7. No, he didn't play bishop b7. Bishop f6, yeah, I don't like this too much because first you can take, I think, you know, which you did. Queen a4, attacking the knight, bishop d7, bishop b5. Okay, now some serious pressure here, and also you have some rook c1 coming. You played very simple but effective. Rook c1, Is now attacking here. Yeah, he should have. He should have done that, of course. You know, yeah, yeah. unnecessarily he got unnecessarily pinned. Of yeah. course, yeah. Bishop b7 is a much better move, yeah. okay. but that was unnecessarily got pinned. Rook a c1, knight d7, bishop c3. Hmm. What is the idea? You just I know besides d5. Do you? I know you want to play d5. Is there anything else? Because it kind of blocks the rook. So yeah. it does. Yeah, something like this. Rook c2. Put the rooks together. Bishop c3 is just a pretty obvious threat, you know? So he will probably see it. Bishop c3. Queen f4. Bishop d2. The question is, if he had gone back... You, uh, would you repeat? <laughs> or will you take a draw or you would push for a win? I would have repeated a second time maybe. But I don't and then you make a decision after. Yeah, okay. I don't think I, I, don't think I did. But that. it's good sometimes when an opponent doesn't repeat because, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Just game goes on, you know? It happens to me too. Sometimes they, re you know, you know, there's a repetition, but they don't repeat, so it's, you know, you just move on. Yeah. H3, he's wasting so many tempos. Okay, I like this move, just developing. Bring the last piece into the game, right? F6, bishop b4. Now you want to take this, and then he's going to have some serious problem. I mean, this f6 really weakened his position, really weakened it. So he takes exactly. f6, never play, yeah? Yeah, we always joke about yeah. f6. That's true. Yeah, now everything is hanging. Everything is hanging now. Rook takes c1. Bishop e6, check. Intermezzo, yeah? Nice intermezzo. Now you take the knight, can go back, but that's another pawn on a7 they're hanging, if nothing else. Rook c7 comes in. Queen d7, very powerful move. Attacking the knight, and the knight moves. There is a checkmate on g7. This is one of your better games, no? Yes. Against a guy who is 400 points higher than you. Yep. <laughs> Very nice. It seems like you were the higher rated player here. Yeah. <laughs> you played really well. Congratulations on the win. Uh, you know, there were not too many things you could have done better. The most important thing, I think the only inaccuracy you made is e4. Yeah, I think after that you played really well. You know, you followed your idea. So just don't play. Guys, e4, it's not good for a few reasons, okay? It's, it, first of all, it, it, you know, it gives isolated pawn for white, which is not so good in this position. Second is, the king is in the middle still, so it's just way too early to do that, okay? You know, you would play this move when you have, let's say, castle, queen is already only two, rook is only one, rook is on d1, everybody is in, rook f1, rook a d1, and then, maybe after something like this, you put the rooks in, you put your queen on e2, and then, this is an idea, you can consider doing this then. But you don't play. You don't want to play it now, okay? It's just too early, okay? Okay, so that's your game. Okay, so e4, right? E4. You're playing bla uh, black. Where am I? Yeah. E4. Knight f6. 
So everybody know this opening? Yes? Okay, then what's the, what's the opening? Alakain defense, very good. E5, Aliochin. Knight d5, c4. So your opponent very aggressive. Right away he's pushing all the pawns, yeah? Knight b6, d4, d6. Okay. I always thought when they push the pawns like this in, the, in this Alakai defense, it's not so easy because then black gets a good counterplay. Sometimes it's why they, they don't push c4 right away. They go knight f3, take knight e5 do that position because here there's a lot of you have a lot of attack on the center I think F4 well well you need this six in this opening you have to play this six in all kind of course it's it's your move you gotta get the pieces out and you gotta mm -hmm. attack so see the way this opening works is you lose some tempos they push the pawns on you you back up and then you try to counterattack. It's very interesting, it's quite fascinating. If you spend the time right now, you get a good engine, a good computer, you work these lines, I bet you can make these lines work. It's possible to make these lines work. You know, I, I mean, not, you're not gonna be able to play this consistently at the very high, but I mean, there are some grandmasters who play this. I remember a game that I saw, was really impressed by, it was a, I was actually playing in that tournament, 2012, Olympiad in uh, Turkey, Istanbul, and it was a match Russia versus USA. So Russia was playing perfect. They were winning every match. They drew one. They were just beating everybody. It looked like they were just going to win. And then they're playing us in round eight. And we were doing okay. We were, you know, we, I think we won every match. We drew three matches. So we were behind the point to Russia, right? And then suddenly, uh, so this is the lineup. Russia was, you know, very, they were very strong. They had Kramnik, Grishchuk, uh, Yakovenko won actually. He won, and Karyakin was third. So basically, they have Kramnik, Grishchuk, Karyakin, Yakovenko, who was playing fantastic, very strong team. So anyway, Yakovenko won against Rob Ray, and then the third world was a quick draw between Anishuk and uh, Anishuk and Karyakin. So the, on the second board, it was Alakai in defense that Kamsky played. And he won that game, which was unbelievable. Grishuk was a favorite, and he had the white pieces. But, but Kamsky uh, got a nice position. And uh, at the end, it was a rook king for Grishuk and rook bishop king for Kamsky. And Grishuk was very low on time, so he made a mistake in a wow. dif difficult defense. He made a mistake and lost. So and, and Nakamura won a game against Kramnik, which was another big story because he was slightly worse maybe out of the opening or absolutely equal, and they repeated twice. And in order for not to make a draw, Hikaru had to play a really passive knight move because that was the only way to avoid repetition. But since he realized you know, he cannot just waste the white color, so he played like a you know, really good team player. So he avoided a draw, right, right. and he got to this position where Kramnik was doing fine, but... It was pretty intense, and somehow, at some point, he got the better of him and managed to win. So U.S. won on top two boards, draw on third, and that sealed the match. So it was uh, unbelievable. And that, Russia continue winning everything after that. They continue winning everything, and then, but then they tie with Armenia, and somehow Armenia passed them on a tie break, and they won the tournament. So, yeah. It's up there. I mean, it's up there. Defense won. Alakine won that game. So that's the game you want to look at it as an Alakine player. And, and it's been years. Lev Albert used to play this one. Yeah. Too. Yeah. But I mean, beating Grishchuk, oh, a guy, sure. uh, it's, uh, it's an unbelievably black strong black player. Black. In a game, in a must win game at Olympiad, yes. it doesn't get bigger than that. So, I mean, that's Gadakamski. I mean, one of the best players yeah, yeah. in the world. You know, he used this and won. So it's, the opening is you know, it's still you can play. It shows that. So, uh, here he played, you took, take, yeah, you take, take, did you go knight c6? c5? No, c5, d5, c5 is not so good oh, here. Where, where is c5 used then? I'm trying to remember. Anything. c5, d5, it's a big problem then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your pieces. There is a strange c5 in the four pawns itself, in some strange line. 
I there is I no. You played ninety six. I was normally playing ninety. No, ninety six is fine. This is you still you're still in your theory, right? This is still a book. Okay, bishop b3, it's normal, because if you play knight f3, you get, in, you get pinned by bishop 2 here. So bishop b3, bishop f5. Wow, and here we see a move that I don't like at all by your opponent, c5. Pieces are not developed. Pieces are undeveloped, you know, and he played c5, giving you that excellent square on d5. A lot of people yeah, but that's not, at, I mean, at least maybe later on you can play that, but not right now. Very, very uh, strange decision. Knight d5. Now, queen f3, he's not developing his pieces, and now, well, the bishop was under attack. He is attacking you, so, so you played. e6 played, okay. E6 is normal, right? Mm -hmm. But let me ask you, what is the better move? That's a good move, but then remember, when you see a good move, you look for a better one, right? So what you could have done better here to win material here, right away? Win material? Mat yeah, win, you're basically gonna win like a few pawns probably because his position is just well, collapsing here. I can uh, take knight, knight e5. Knight? E5? Yeah. No, no, takes. No, I don't think you can take. He'll take you back. I mean, oh, I, I'm sorry. this yeah. pawn is I'm really I'm weak. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Knight takes E3. Then, then, what's the idea? Knight takes E3 covers the bishop, and then after. And now, how many attackers do you have on this? Two. Two. Take. Now look at that. The center is collapsing. Takes, look at that. Knight c2 is threatened. Knight c2 is threatened as well. So he goes here now, look at that. e6, get the bishop out. That's the whole goal of this. Plan. Absolutely, you win, you win on the spot right here. Too, too bad you missed this, because this would have given you the game. You would have won the game on the... I won't miss it again, I promise. Sure, <laughs> but, but the, just, just, just remember, when opponent does strange stuff like this, it's never gonna work. Just try to play a chess game, putting your pieces on awkward squares, you know, or do, or d you gotta follow the rules, the opening principles. You have to, otherwise, you know, like this is just, what you did, it's fine, you're still better, but it's just, you could have just won the game here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you missed that shot, but now you know it, yeah? yeah. Bishop b5, yeah, pretty, okay, bishop b5 is okay, it's pinning. Knight takes c3, you did it now. He took check. This is interesting. Takes. Ah, he took here. By the way, if he takes on c6, you cannot play the king queen here. The rook is hanging, but you can play the move king e7. It looks like he cannot do anything. You're up a piece. Your knight is still remaining there. So he takes. Queen takes e3. Rook b8. I like this move. This is a good move. Developing the rook and attacking the pawn. Excellent move. B3, he protects it. Queen H4 check. Oh. Okay. G3. Oops. That's not good. Very nicely done. That's a good play right there. That was an excellent play. Okay, he played uh, poorly, but he played poorly with his G3. Should have played uh, yes. King F1 and Knight F3. Uh, I, I still like your position, but it's not going to be easy. Okay? I still like your position, but it's not going to be so easy to do anything. King F2. Thank you very much for the rook. Knight F3. He's trying to trap you, okay? Mm -hmm. The only way he can have a chance to trap you, but he can't. Queen d1. Can I? Can we back this up? Can we take knight? Yeah. Um, how about take another one? Increase that material advantage, you know. Huh. Even better. I, I okay, queen d1 is fine too. You were worried about getting the queen trapped, but this is just winning another piece, okay? Okay, 
okay all right so queen d1 i think you were just too worried about the queen and say let me get out of there quickly you know yeah. and then you trade queens <laughs> just to make sure nothing bad will happen yeah. <laughs> okay well very good okay uh, Okay, the rest of the game, I don't think we need to go over too much. You're up a whole rook, you know, so. Okay, very good, okay. At the end, I have a puzzle for you, okay, to solve. That's a nice victory. So let me set up the puzzle, okay. So, okay, good win. Uh, one thing, uh, you, your only inaccuracy was not doing this right away. It could have been costly if you were playing maybe a little bit tougher opponent. I've seen tougher opponents play all the time. And the C5 was just very bad. Remember, C5 is bad if they do it early like this. No, no, this, no, this, this is just bad. I think here, maybe in other line they can play this, but not here. And here, your only mistake, you know, that could have, you know, mean anything is just take, just take, just eliminate, okay? And queen takes D4. Game is over here. Position simply collapses, okay? <laughs> okay, I have a position for you. I will set it up. And you need to find a mate in three moves. You are winning here, no question, but you need to find a mate in three moves. We're white. You are white, yes. The pawn is going this way. I so, this yeah. yeah, that's fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. the knight foil sitting on the right side. What can you do here? Very nice idea. So first idea is you can never checkmate him when your rooks are next to each other, right? There's no way. You need to have one rook to cut, another one rook to check. Rook c7 or b7? Rook b7, uh, b8. Yeah. Further the better, remember. Further the better. There's a big difference. You'll see. Now, excellent start, okay? Mm -hmm. Threatening check, mate, threatening checkmate. So... Let's look at all the possibilities he can do. So if the knight gives you check, where do you go? Next to the knight, uh, f6. Excellent, king to f6. If the knight gives you a check? F4. Excellent, no more checks. One more check. Now, no more checks with the knight. So you just have to avoid the checks. Next, he goes here, knight c6. Rook a1 mates, right? Not rook a8 because he can cover with knight a5. Knight c4. Okay, the other moves are simple. If king moves, you just check. This is a tricky one now. This is the best defense here. Because now, if you check me from a8, I cover with knight a5. If you check me from a1, I cover with knight a3. So you don't have a way of trying to checkmate me immediately. So you need a very special move here to get the job done. So what would be the move here to, to break that balance here? To be able to win. Yeah, but I just check, yeah? I mean, you win the night. You win the game, no problem. But we're trying to win in two moves. You have two moves to find the checkmate now. Not always it's going to be check, check, and mate. Sometimes you need to find a quiet move. Suksuwang. Yes. Very good, Suksuwang. Isaac. Rook B7. Specify. Rook specify. Eight, B7. Rook 8, B7. Isaac, excellent. Look at that move. Now, the whole point of this move is you pass the turn to him. So pawn cannot move. Only king and knight can move, right? If the king comes here, what do we do? Perfect, checkmate. If he goes this way, what do you do? Aha, uh -huh. so the king moves, we have mate. We know that. So the other thing left now, the knight moves, correct? If he goes knight a5, rook a1 mates. If he goes knight a3, rook a7 mates. If he goes this way, no, no, not whichever. If you oh, check yeah, with right. this one, it goes there. Not whichever. Be specific then. That is the mate right there. And if he goes here. 
Rook A1. Perfect. All right. Okay, excellent. So these are good to do it. You know, it will help you a little bit with uh, creativity to see that, you know, sometimes you need to find quiet moves. And you will see some nice ideas, like in particular this knight c6, just rook, rook b, knight c4, rook b8, b7. Okay. All right, guys, so we're uh, done for this class. We have another class starting immediately. So thanks, everybody, for watching, coming here, and we'll see you next time.